God bless you and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I got the garage door up. I didn't get video of everything because I was just trying to get it done and I didn't know what I'm doing. I'm not a professional woodworker or anything like that. I did the best I could uh, with what I have. So this is it. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Before we get started, I wanna show you, we got a puppy named Daisy. She's a good girl and she's gonna be the little shop dog. She likes to do tricks. We've taught her to shake. Good job and sit pretty. So just wanted to introduce you guys to Daisy before she gets big. She's Pit and uh, Black Lab, I believe. So she's definitely a good dog. And we also got a kitten, super cute. We got some video on our on woke cameras, which I wanted to show you real quick. It's super funny, but uh, here they are. This is a before audio test with the door open so you can hear the highway noise. All right, now that we've got the doors all hung and they swing and all the good stuff, we are going to add the insulation. Now I had to use the MDX to go get it, so I had to cut these 4 by 8 sheets into 4 by 4 4 foot by 4 foot, it's just to fit them in there because I need a truck, which we're working on getting another truck. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and place these up and get the whole thing covered with these insulation. And then we're going to be using this double reflective insulation. This is the same stuff I had on the garage door at my previous uh, house that we were renting. Um, I really like it because it does provide a little bit extra reflection and light into the garage and it sound deadens a little bit so that's why I'm double insulating. I'm putting this insulation plus that 
Now I was going to just put this stuff on the inside and then just call it good. But the more insulation I have, the better sound barrier I will have. So this may not be like a super proper way to do it, but I'm a car guy. I'm not a home builder. I'm just doing the best I can with what I have. And these doors may not stay on here forever. I'm working on trying to get it to where it actually has a real overhead garage door. But this is just temporary and I do need it insulated from the elements while I'm painting and working in the garage. So I'm going to go ahead, get those up, trim them, and then I'm going to be laying that stuff over the top. I was going to take these and cut them out and put them inside here and then put the bubble looking insulation over it, but I just want it kind of all flat and then I'll put the bubble stuff over it and it'll look good and it'll function good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so I got one of them insulated. It looks terrible. I wish I could have just got the 4 by 8 sheets in the MDX instead of having to do it into 4 by 4 sheets, but it's up, it's solid, and I suck at cutting foam. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the scissors to cut the insulation roll that goes on it and use some staples as well as probably some glue. As you can hear, the traffic is loud. This is another reason why I'm doing this. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, now that everything is done, I'm gonna show you how much light is coming in. I'll turn this off here in a second. All right. You can see there's light down there and a little bit right there. A little bit up there. Very little bit in those spots and a tiny bit down at the bottom. But yeah, there it is. So not too bad. A couple little spots that need some attention. I've got this seal up here. I need to put a little bit on that side and it'll be sealed up pretty good. So overall, not bad. The road noise isn't near as bad now that we've got insulation that actually sound deadens just a little bit 
and this will work perfectly. Right, so here is the final outcome of the carport turned garage. It has the big swinging barn door style uh, that we ended up going with instead of doing an overhead. This was the cheaper route. I don't even have a total for you. I've went to Home Depot so many times in the wife's MDX and uh, we actually need to get a truck. So I might be getting rid of the EP3 for a truck because I need one. I cannot use her MDX as a truck. Uh, it has double insulation, the inside insulation, and then on top of that, the bubble wrap looking insulation with the reflection. Um, that'll let more light, it'll brighten it up. That's why I went with that. And it has insulated wall now. Now, there's a lot of different ways I could have done it. All the pros will get in the comments and tell me how I did it all wrong, and that's fine. But this concrete is all jacked up. So literally it has a high point and then goes low and then it levels out over there. So I had to cut the wood at an angle just for it to seal, which is really weird, um, but it worked out well. And this does block a lot of the highway noise. I'm pretty sure you just heard the semi riding the little uh, rumble strips. They always ride the rumble strips around here, but um, it definitely blocks out a lot of noise and the cold air and the hot air will definitely be blocked out. I did a little temperature test and here's a video of that. It's got the garage doors built and I just finished with all the painting and getting everything on it. It is 35 degrees out here. If we go in, get it all shut. All I have is that little electric space heater on. 64, 65 degrees. It's super comfortable in here. And now I've got intake ventilation from outside and check this out no cold air coming in so I have one of those on both sides so I can actually double seal it off and it works really well to pull air in and I'll have an exhaust out to pull fumes out for when I paint it's definitely coming together for sure it's hard to believe that I built something like this but with God all things are possible so you can see the difference pretty big difference um, right now it's comfortable in here and I haven't even had the heater on today uh, and it's colder outside so it definitely came out really good i have the locks up here to keep it locked you know when i go into bed i lock that and of course our other door locks as well and then if i don't want to go all the way up there and say the kids need to come out through here i'll just shove a big thick bolt or a screwdriver through there and i can lock it that way it has the handles and yeah it's definitely coming along i also did a uh, intake vent right here and it's double-sided so there's one on the other side of this as well and it's closed now I just opened it um, but it'll stay closed when I'm not painting and stuff like that but when I'm painting this will allow fresh air in and I have to do it on the other side as well and over here I plan on putting a air extraction with an explosion proof fan uh, to suck out fumes and it'll have a little air filter slot that I make to go right there so that way we'll have fresh air coming in and the air getting extracted out so it'll work really good for a little temporary paint booth until i can get a metal building built outside and get that other stuff tore down 
but it's definitely a garage now. It's insulated and it's awesome. I do plan on painting the ceiling and stuff like that all white. Um, I'm gonna make this wood here all the way around match this color and then the ceiling itself will be white so it'll brighten up in here. There's actually a comment in the comment section. It was a really good idea so thank you for whoever left that comment. Um, really appreciate that. Uh, I didn't even think of that. So I'm gonna go outside. It will get noisy but I'll try to be talking louder. So went ahead and did the red barn door because we like the barn door style and the house will be getting repainted uh, in the future and this will look really good with it. The roof's already red here, so we've got red roof and red barn door looking rustic style, you know? Um, and we went with that brown, but couldn't get a perfect color match, so we just went with this and painted all the slats and all that good stuff, so. Yeah, it's definitely coming together. I do need to get concrete laid out here because it gets really muddy, and I track mud in, and paint and mud don't get along, so um, I have to fix that before I can do paint jobs for a bunch of people and stuff like that. Plus, I'm just doing it out of the house. I need to get this thing tore down so that way I can actually um, put a metal building up and then I'll actually be able to do things for a lot of people. So just bear with me. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching the videos and sharing them around and commenting. I appreciate your input. Um, I know there's a lot of ways I could have done this different, but I like how it turned out. My wife absolutely loves how it turned out. And this is our house so we can do what we want. So. Uh, it's definitely coming along and I'll be able to get some paint jobs coming soon. I already have some colors I'm going to be doing, so definitely want to stay tuned for that. Uh, it will be coming in the next month or even sooner. So definitely stay tuned, um, but that's basically it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and get off here because the highway is about to pick up with the crazy loud traffic right now. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and get off here, but before I do, i just like to say this at the end of every video. I just want to let you know that God loves you so much he sent his only son to be the propitiation for your sin. God is calling you. Time is running out and he wants you. He loves you and he'll take you exactly as you are. He doesn't need you to change to come to him. Once you come to him, he will be the change in you. I'm living proof of this and I don't preach that prosperity gospel stuff, but I can tell you this much. God has moved mountains in our lives financially speaking and he has moved our emotional state all kinds of things and he can do the same for you so if you've been going through a really rough time and you just feel like there has to be more to life there definitely is so definitely reach out to him he's reaching out for you and he wants a personal relationship with you he doesn't want your religion he doesn't want your rules and this and that he just wants your heart so reach out to him believe in your heart confess with your mouth and you'll be saved definitely look more into it there will be a free bible download in the description god bless each and every one of you and i'll see you in the next video God bless, stay safe, stay awesome. Jesus loves you.